A long-awaited groundbreaking today for Chicago's first public park memorializing the AIDS epidemic. It's been almost 40 years since HIV was first identified, yet there remains no vaccine, while a COVID vaccine was developed in record time. In a single person who has HIV, they have many, many variants just within their own body. UIC Infectious Disease Director Dr. Richard Novak says HIV mutates rapidly and hides in a body for a long time, which makes vaccine development very challenging. But, he says, there is hope. We've learned a lot over the last 30-some years of, of trying to develop a vaccine, and, uh, and we understand better what kind of immune responses we need to generate. Novak has spent his career working on HIV vaccine trials and treatments. UIC is currently enrolling participants for a Johnson & Johnson HIV vaccine trial to begin in July. While Dr. Novak says the HIV vaccine looks promising, don't expect it to have the same efficacy as COVID vaccines. Novak says 50% would be considered successful. HIV advocates hope the worldwide cooperation, collaboration, and funding for COVID vaccines will help with an HIV vaccine. After all, researchers say COVID vaccines were based on research already done for HIV vaccines. The fact that there has been so much interest and in that your everyday person is chatting about vaccines and epidemiology sitting on their couch, like that's a really good thing and we can harness that. But Jim Pickett, an advocate with AIDS Foundation Chicago, says there have been great scientific advancements with treatments and prevention that have kept people alive, including himself. I tested positive in 95. I really expected to never see my 50th birthday. Advocates and researchers are confident the tools are finally in place to end the HIV epidemic soon. Sarah Schulte, ABC7 Eyewitness. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.